could be very worrying in about a month or so. Private security workers are threatening a massive strike in September. Unions demanding a wage increase of 16 per cent or 900 rand across the board, including the benefits. We understand that talks with employers, though, have deadlocked. And, of course, you can imagine the kind of damage this would cause if those talks do not continue. Let's bring into the discussion and get reaction coordinator of the Kunguini Amalgamated Workers Union, Kumbalani Moyo, joining me this morning. Mr. Moyo, good to have you on ENCA. Appreciate your time. So how have we gotten to this point? We can't not have private security workers uh, around the country. We rely on them so much. Uh, morning, Karen, and uh, morning also to your viewers. Uh, we've got to this point uh, after a lengthy negotiation that started in the, on the 1st of April uh, until uh, the 13th of July, where we couldn't find each other with the employers. And then we had to declare a dispute within the Parliament Council, where two senior uh, commissioners were appointed uh, on the on the first of um, uh, August, uh, we met with the employers on the second of August uh, to try and conciliate on the five key issues uh, that were tabled as the 28 unions uh, to try and find each other. But uh, we met again on the um, on the second. We met on the 16th of August. We met on the 23rd of August. We met also on the 25th. But we seem like we are not finding each other. We have tried as organized labor to say this is, these are the demands that uh, uh, the five key demands that we have reduced to, uh, to, 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 to that point. Uh, and uh, this is what our members are demanding. Uh, like you simply summarize them. The, the first key demand is the issue of the remuneration, which is the salaries, mm. which we are saying the lowest paid a great C officer. Uh, we, our members have given us a mandate uh, to say they are demanding a 900 rand for, for the first year, 900 rand for the second year, and 900 rand for the third year. Normally, we normally have what we call a three-year or a multi-year agreement that uh, covers a, a, a multi number of years, which is three years. And then uh, that's the lowest paid officer. Then the rest of the officers, which is a grade B and a grade A, we are saying the equal rank value needs to be uh, uh, put across to all the, the salaries of those grades. Then there's the second issue of the Provident Fund. The Provident Fund, during the COVID uh, pandemic, uh, uh, the employers were given an exemption of around 5% contribution, uh, which means the employers contribute 5% and the employees contribute 5%. But uh, we had agreed in our main collective agreement that uh, the maximum contribution is 7.5% yeah. on each uh, which is the employees and the, um, the employers. But the employers, they're saying they want to, to, to remain with the status quo, which we say is not, it's, it's not correct. And we cannot accept that because these are the benefits that we uh, agreed upon. And let's talk to me as well, Kumbalani, for a moment about the kind of impact this is going to have. Uh, how many private security guards uh, are we talking about in South Africa, bearing in mind that this could be for hospitals, uh, private business, uh, it could be really anywhere where you, can, where you can see a private security company being involved. If they all down tools, just give me a sense of the impact we're talking about and what date do we have for this strike? Do we know yet? Um, the uh, anticipated date is on the 26th of uh, September. Uh, with an understanding that we're still going back uh, on the first uh, to submit what we call the picketing rules, because if parties can't find each other, normally in the it's entrenched in the liberations act that parties need to exchange what is called picketing rules, and uh, also we go back on the on the 12th of September. But we are we are saying that we are still open to look at any other option that the employers might table, which we are able to take to our members. But the numbers. The registered security officer in the CIRA database, they are 1.1 million. The current uh, 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 active uh, members who are part of the 28 unions, they are roughly more than 500,000 members. And in terms of the verification that was done by the Balangan Council, which we started two years back, uh, as, of, um, the, um, as, of, as of the end of, of March this year, uh, which are registered with the Bayern Council, they are over 400,000.
So when you now have uh, another meeting with uh, the industry on the 1st of September, I understand, uh, have they come back to you, as I say goodbye to you, Kumbalani, have they come back to you with any kind of counter-offer? Forgive me if you did tell me, I may have missed it. Is there a counter-offer on the table or is there just no room for negotiation right now? As far as we know, they have not uh, brought anything that is tangible. They have tried to submit things that we, we are saying total outright. That is not acceptable. Mm. Uh, for example, trying to deal with the issues which are not encompassing the basic salary, which were mandated by, uh, by our members, uh, which were saying we are not going to accept that, uh, unfortunately to them. We need to deal with the basic salaries with understanding that current uh, security officers are spending next to about 60% of, of, of their salaries on the on the transportation. And also what they are giving us is less than 3.5%. Uh, in total, if you put all together, it's less than 5%. And the inflation is sitting around 7.8%, 7, 7 which we're saying is too, too low. And in the, in the past three years, uh, uh, things have skyrocketed. Uh, if you quantify the service that it came in, if you quantify the transport, the rise of food, the rise of accommodation, it's next to about 70%. And with an understanding that we're locked in, in a three year agreement, which they couldn't even come in and say this all time because the inflation is gone so yeah, high. It's the inflation is uh, the cost of living, it. everything having gone up. And this is what we're hearing across many industries, Kumbalani as well, is the uh, high cost of living is just eating into everyone's salaries as well. And as you say, uh, your request is a reasonable increase. We're going to follow this very closely, of course, meeting again on the 1st of September uh, with the uh, strike planned for the 26th. Kumbalani Moyo, I appreciate your time. Kungwini Amalgamated Workers Union National Coordinator. Very, very unhappy. Of course, we're going to follow that very closely because if there is a private security uh, if there's a private security strike on the 26th of September, it's going to cause chaos around the country.